Hello and welcome to this quick tips video. So this is going to show you just one specific thing and in this case this is how to send your Cubase project to somebody else. So what often happens with me is people will just send just the CPR file and that's not the whole thing with a Cubase project. So if you've got any audio present in it then you will need to send that as well and that can be pretty laborious unless you follow this quick tip. So here you can see we have a project with a few tracks recorded in it etc. And what I want to do is be able to send this off without any issues. So I just want to be able to send it to somebody, then unzip it, and away they go. So first things first, go to File, and then Backup Project. Okay, this will ask you to select a new folder. So we're going to make a new folder here. So I'm going to call it Sending My Song. So that's it. I've just got to be an empty folder. So click open there and then give it a project name so i'm just going to say my lovely project now the default options are normally fairly sensible um keep pro current project active just means it's going to create the backup project and then leave you working on your original one so it really will be a backup if you're having issues with file size then you might want to tick minimize audio files or and also tick remove unused files. It depends how much editing the person at the other end is going to want to do. If you just want to send them it to listen to or mix it, play around, maybe this will be okay. But if they're going to want any of those previous takes, etc., you need to leave them in. Generally, you don't want to back up the video. And also on modern versions of Cubase, don't back up the mix down folder as well. So you may or may not want to do that depending on your needs. You click OK, and we can see it's making copies of all those. It's done it really quickly. So now, if we look in Finder, we can see we have the Cubase project, but we also have all of the audio files which are needed to get that to work. So everything's been copied over. Now, to send this, this will depend slightly on whether you're on Windows or on Mac, but here on a Mac, you right click stroke two finger tap and then go compress sending my song and it will make a zip file and you can see originally it's 338 megs in this case and it's going to compress it as much as it can mileage will vary considerably but this is lossless compression so you're still going to get the full quality of the other end it just makes it quicker to send and there we have that and that has ended up being 318 megs so it's not enormous it can easily be sent via WeTransfer or any other file sharing service and you're done. Doing it on a PC would be very similar. You would right click on the folder and then pick send to compressed zipped folders and then you get a zip file which will work in much the same way. So that's your quick tip for today.